FIFA 19 is just around the corner and I am proud to announce that I have partnered up with G2A.com. If you guys want to load up FIFA points on FIFA 18 to transfer over to FIFA 19 or you want to stock your account up with some MSP or PSN, go check out G2A.com. I'll leave a link in the top line of the description and use code HABER for 3% cash back. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you guys is a video around wants to watch player picks. In the FIFA 19 HTML file, as we see here, we have a few little, I guess you could call them leaks. They're just kind of, uh, the kind of little packs that have been put onto the HTML file. If you guys don't know what it is, basically there's a file that says different names of packs that could be coming in, whether they'll be on the store, whether they'll be in packs, whether they'll be uh, as SBCs, um, but they have the description of what it is. So as we see, we have two legendary heroes. No idea what that means. That might be another thing to come, but we also have player pick pack four, another player pick pack four. Uh, we have a contains a player uh, pick with a wants to watch players. And then we have wants to watch players and a wants to watch pack. So, the contains a player pick with wants to watch players seems very interesting to me. No idea what it will entail 100%, but what I've done is I've gone and made a few concepts that I think we could have on FIFA 19. Now, you guys know what EA are like. EA are notorious for bringing out decent SBCs for stuff like wants to watch. You know, they bring in SBCs that are guaranteed wants to watch players, guaranteed in four players, guaranteed team of the season players, etc. So it would not surprise me at all if EA brought in a guaranteed wants to watch player pick SBC, and I really hope they do because I think it'll be fantastic. I made all of this from complete scratch on Photoshop. This is all me. Uh, this is not confirmed in the game. This is not confirmed on FIFA. This has not been confirmed in any trailers. This is literally all just Photoshop work. So apologies if it doesn't look like it would in the game. Uh, apologies if it doesn't get put in the game. However, this is something I thought I'd make as a concept, which I think looks pretty cool. And I'm excited to put it into the game. Or, or I'm sorry for EA to put it into the game, should I say. I, I'm not a dev. I have no part in putting anything into FIFA. However, I'm excited to see if EA do put something like this in FIFA 19 and if they do I think it'd be amazing um, now thinking about how player picks work or how I, I predict they're gonna work now I actually don't know but what I predict is that they are similar rating for all five players in the player pick so I went with a similar rating for all of these guys now Richarlison being a um, being you know a lower rated the reason I put Richarlison there is because he seems to be performing really well for Everton currently uh, let's not f like talk about Everton's uh, game today but uh, apart from those he seems to be performing really well so I actually think he might get an inform before the one to watch comes out and if he does he'll be a closer rating to these guys than everybody else that's why i put him in there um so i think that we could get something similar to this now i want to know your opinion if you got given this player pick who would you pick uh if I was to pick, I'd probably pick Fred. Now, a lot of people will pick the um, the highest rated value-wise, but I, if, like I imagine, there will be uh, untradeable player picks, I would probably go for Fred, honestly. I'd probably go for Fred because I think he'd work in more teams. Um... And Jorginho the same. Jorginho might work in more teams to, to link with like the Serie A, for example. But uh, but I'd probably either go for Fred or Jorginho. Both look like decent cards. That Fred card looks really, really good. Uh, of course, Shakiri has five-star skill moves, though. Um, and Kovacic will probably have four-star as well, as, uh, as, as does Fred in midfield. So it'd be interesting to see how these actually play out. But this looks really interesting. Now, if I was to predict value-wise of these cards... Um, I think all these cards have a pretty decent value. They're all players that not only have a decent card already, like or, or a half decent card, should I say? You know, uh, Richarlison and Shakiri don't look amazing for their positions, but they don't look bad at all. And of course, Shakiri has five star skills now, um, but they all look like cards that definitely could get an inform. And if they do get an inform in the Premier League uh, and for the team that they're playing for, I think will definitely have a very uh, like a very good value. I think Shakiri is one inform away from being a really meta looking card, uh, and I think the same for. Richarlison. Charlatan. I think Fred's of one inform away from being just insane. Uh, Kovacic being the same. I think Kovacic is one inform away from having an incredible card. Um, but I think all these guys' base cards as well are going to be decent. I think that Fred, like I know I keep saying it, I know I'm a Man United fan and I don't mean to be biased, but Fred looks fantastic. He looks like a really good card in FIFA. And I do want to quickly disclose that all of these are actually confirmed cards as well. If you guys didn't know, the full database got released. I want to say four or five days ago now. So these are all confirmed ratings and confirmed cards from the database. And dude, looking at this makes me so excited. I didn't want to leave it just there. I thought I'd make a slightly higher rated version of the same thing. Now, uh, I think we can all agree in this situation. I think everyone would probably pick Nine Golan. However, Goretzka could be a player that people have picked for a Bundesliga team. And they don't all look bad cards at all. Vidal's pace has been absolutely, like, 
disgustingly nerfed and I'm still angry about that. Uh, he would be such an incredible card to use if he didn't get that horrible, horrible nerf. Um, however, you know, I just realized that it says Vidal for Socrates as well. Okay, like I said, this is all Photoshop. This is like, I apologize if there's any mistakes. It actually says Vidal for Socrates as well. I've I've just noticed that and I do apologize. I completely forgot to put Socrates in there. Um, and I do sincerely apologize. That is a mistake. And uh, and I feel like such an idiot for that now. But uh, but they all look like decent cards. Malcolm as well could be usable. Um, I think Malcolm's one in form away from being the go-to right winger in that league. Uh, that isn't, of course, you know, a ridiculous amount of coins like Bale. Um, and I hope that if Vidal does get an inform, he gets a really high pace increase. Obviously, EA don't just set inform stats. Like, they don't have a set, like, plus two for every stat. They can do a really high increase for certain stats. And I hope that Vidal gets a high pace increase. Nine Golan looks OP, like, every year. And the same with Goretzky. Just looks meta, looks insane. And both of them just look fantastic. So, can't wait to use all of them. And I can't wait to use Vidal at centre-back for Arsenal. He just looks fantastic. Okay, if I glance there's no mistakes for this one i hope but uh this is the third screen i went for and this is more of a uh, a mid-tier rating one now it's sad that i don't think we'll see ronaldo in any of these however it could work differently and it could work to the point where it's just look based on who you get and it's complete random you know you could get a player pick and it could have ronaldo and like richarlison next to each other and it doesn't just base on rating which if they do that and it's just look based on who you get in there that i'd be in my opinion really really cool um but i think that this would be something that i'd be really cool because this would genuinely make me think now obviously cage would be the first person i think of going with however seri looks fantastic and meta and so does felipe anderson and then so does pereira they all look fantastic yarmolenko you, you know we can all just forget about yarmolenko no one's choosing a 73 pace right mid but the other four i would genuinely think hard about choosing who I was going to choose here. I, I if Especially if this was untradeable and this was like on oh, my pack only wrote of glory. This would be something I would genuinely struggle choosing. And I don't know who I'd choose. I think I'd probably end up going either Seri or Felipe Anderson, honestly. Uh, I would go Keita, but Keita's not got the greatest pace or defending. So reality, like, is he going to be a fantastic box-to-box uh, -box midfielder? Probably not as good as Seri will be. Uh, Felipe Anderson just looks insane as well 92 pace 88 dribbling on a left mid card looks fantastic but Pereira also looks like a really solid right back in the prem gets a few good links with Portugal players as well so it'd be something I would definitely look hard and and I would definitely have a lot of time spent deciding who I want here and from here I want to pass the question off to you guys firstly who would you pick here who would you choose in this player pick I still like I've just thought about it for like two or three minutes and I actually can't decide who I'd pick it's definitely between Seri and Felipe Anderson and I probably I'd have to see what my team looks like to decide who I'd pick. If I had a, uh, a weaker center mid spot, then it'd be Seri. But if I had a, uh, a weaker winger spot, it would be Felipe Anderson 100%. Uh, but I want to ask you guys how you think player picks are going to work. Obviously, we don't know for sure right now. Uh, and I've looked around at capture event videos, but we still don't have the best idea of how they're going to work because I've only really seen the SBC ones that have like set positions and set ratings. So we could get ones that are just based off look. We could get ones that are based off, you know, random players. You know, we never know. And of course, if you guys pre-order the Champions or Ultimate Edition, you get a UCL players pick. So it'll be interesting to see who that is. You know, it could be the likes of someone like Martial, 83 rated or, or Ousmane Dembele, 83 two rated people like that or it could be you know 79 rated players we don't know for sure but it'll be interesting to see who we actually get an option to use and who uh and who are options in the player picks and looking at stuff like this just makes me super excited now of course we have the web app in I want to say four days from now, or even maybe three days from now. I'm, I'm not sure if it's the 15th or 16th today, and uh, I can't be bothered checking, I'll be honest with you. Um, but it was just so close to Web App, and then we're so close to Early Access, then we're so close to the full release. I'm really excited nonetheless, and these days feel like they're going very, very slowly. So, uh, you know, they've got to hurry up. I need my FIFA 19 in my life, dude. I'm so excited for it, and I want to know if you guys are too. Uh, make sure you stay tuned on this YouTube channel, so subscribe and keep notifications on, because I'm going to be live streaming a whole lot in FIFA 19, and I'm going to be live streaming on day one of early access of a 36,000 point uh, FIFA point pack opening, more than likely. So make sure you are stay tuned for that, because that will be really exciting. And then, of course, we'll have more stuff throughout the year. There's going to be probably endless content, so I'm super excited for that, and, uh, and we'll see as time goes on, what else we have in option for this. But if you want to see more videos like this where I predict things and I, I make stuff in Photoshop and, uh, and you know, we just we just, uh, speculate 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 over up to uh up to fifa 19 then let me know down below i'd love to hear your opinions on that thank you for watching this video boys and i'll see you later